hungry Susie here, looking for something to eat. What will it be? Ah, how about a yoghurt? Always at this time of the afternoon, my puku starts to rumble. And a yoghurt will be just the thing. Hey, 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 that's my yoghurt. Great thing, the old fridge. Full of food. Just waiting to be eaten. But the question has to be asked. Why is food kept in the refrigerator? If I left my lunch out, it will get mouldy. Meats, vegetables, apples. That's cold. It's eggs, no. Smell horrible. Keeps everything nice and cold. Ice. If you leave your lunch out, it will get rotten and smelly. Maybe you don't need to keep food in the refrigerator after all. I keep crisps on the shelf and they're fine. Oh, what have we got here? A lunchbox with lunch in it. Wonder how long that's been in there. Oh, let's see. Um, was it Friday? No, it wasn't Friday. It's been in there since Thursday. No, it wasn't Thursday. Well, it's been in there at least a week. And let's have a look. The food in here looks fine. So maybe you don't need to put food in the fridge after all. How do you know when an elephant's been in the fridge? You can see the footprints in the butter. Which of these yogurts was the one that I got from the fridge? And which was the one that I got from my lunchbox? Hmm? You know, I can't tell just by looking at them. How am I going to do this? Oh, well, one's quite cold. This must be the one that I got from the fridge. And one's at room temperature, normal temperature. So this must be the one that I got from my lunchbox. I'll put a big X on the top so I know. And maybe a big F on this one for fridge. I don't know about you, but I feel an experiment coming on. Okay, one of these yogurts has been in the fridge for a week, and one has been sitting in my lunchbox for a week. Now, if it's okay, and it doesn't matter where you keep yogurt, then they both should be exactly the same, right? Well, as a scientist, I keep some simple tools of the trade handy at all times, and I'm going to use three of them today to help me. I'll use my senses of smell, sight, and taste. I'll start, I think, with smell. Let's see. Mmm, smells nice, fruity and fresh. Ooh, oh, get a load of that. Smells sour doesn't it? Ugh. I wonder what it looks like then. Ooh. Looks good enough to eat. Yum. Look at this one. Ooh. Well, now for the last sense. Taste. Mmm, tastes delicious. And to be perfectly honest, my senses say do not try the taste test on this yogurt. One bag of groceries been sitting in the car for the last few days under the seat. Nice and warm. Let's have a look. Some of these things may have had to have gone into the fridge. Not the spaghetti, not the crackers or the crisps, not these snacks. Oh, but lunch and, lunch and sausage, that normally goes straight into the fridge. I wonder if it will be okay out in a warm car for a couple of days. Well, let's put it to the test and see. I'll just get some that's been sitting in the fridge. We'll put those same senses to the test as well. Smell, sight, and taste.
taste. We'll start with smell. Mmm, mmm, smells nice. And this is the one that's been sitting in the car. Poor! That smells disgusting! Should we have a look? Oh, that looks delicious, doesn't it? Nice and fresh and juicy. Oh, look at this! Ugh. Now for that last sense. Taste. Luncheon sausage. And if you think I'm going to taste this lot, you're wrong. Yuck. Well, I've come to a conclusion from my observations. This kind of food needs to be kept in the refrigerator. You know, when you think about it, yogurt is made from milk. And milk has a harmless bacteria living in it that helps turn it into things like cheese and yoghurt. Hmm. Oh, don't worry, that bacteria is harmless and it doesn't hurt anybody and most things have bacteria on or in them. Like this luncheon here. Luncheon is made up of minced meats and flavourings and flour and water and it has a high water activity. That means because it is fairly moist and has a high water content, it has a higher bacterial growth. Which gets me thinking, if all these foods have bacteria in them, how come they're not all going rotten and mouldy? You know, I think it has something to do with this green thing here, the fridge. And how can you tell when a cow has been in your fridge? The milk's still warm. Well, it's dark in here and cold. Mm. Two degrees to be precise, which when you think about it is pretty cold. But refrigerator should be about four degrees Celsius. And I think it's the cold that keeps the food in good condition. So standing here with the door open isn't helping. Come and check this out. It's gross. It's mould. Mould is a type of fungus, which means food robbing. And that's what mould does. It starts as a tiny spore that floats along. So tiny you can't see it. It floats along on the breeze and lands on a food source. And then it begins to eat that food. As it eats it, it grows and destroys the food. Ugh. Well, that's where your fridge comes in. The coldness of your fridge slows down the growth of the mould. It won't kill it. In fact, freezing won't kill the mould, but it slows the growth down. Yay for fridges. You know, you could try some experiments with food. Or just ask an adult first, because mould can be pretty gross. And you don't need to use the whole food. Just take a wee sample. A slice of pumpkin on the shelf and one in the fridge. Keep a diary of what happens and compare the two over a week. Maybe get a friend to do the experiment at their house and compare notes. Once you've finished your experiment, don't forget to put it in the bin. Mould can actually be quite dangerous and you don't want it lying around. After all, it does smell. And don't forget, the fridge is your friend. See you soon. You know, when you think about it, this, 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 this. sorry. And you don't use. <laughs> hey, Mum and Dad, thanks for paying your broadcasting fee.